a motorway. Biff and Chip went to stay with Gran. Gran lived in a little village. Biff and Chip liked staying with Gran. She was good fun. She made Biff and Chip laugh. Gran took Biff and Chip to the shed. She had a surprise for them. Open the door, she said. I got a surprise for you. What is it? asked Chip. Biff and Chip opened the door and looked inside the shed. They had a big surprise. Oh no, said Biff. There's a dragon in the shed. It's not a real dragon, said Grant. It's a kite. Biff and Chip looked at the kite. It's a Chinese dragon kite, said Grant. It's wonderful, said Biff. The children wanted to fly the kite. It's a good day for a picnic, said Gran. And it's a good day to fly the kite. It's quite windy. Can I fly it first? asked Biff. Gran found a good place for the picnic. It was near her house. This is good. This is a good place to fly the kite, he said. She let Biff fly the kite first. The wind took the kite up in the sky. It went higher and higher. It looks wonderful, said Tip. Suddenly the wind got stronger. Don't let go, said Gran. The wind pulled the dragon kite, kite out of Biff's hand. It flew away and landed in a tree. Biff was upset. I couldn't hold on to it, she said. She climbed the tree and pulled the kite, but it was it wouldn't come down. Be careful, said Biff. Mind you don't tear it. And mind you don't fall, said Gran. The kite was stuck in the tree. Chip couldn't get it down. In the end, someone got the kite down with a long pull. Thank you, said Biff and Chip. Biff and Chip went to fly the kite again. Chip saw some wild flowers. Mind those flowers, he said. Don't step on them. Gran was upset. What's the matter, Gran? Asked Chip. They want to build a motorway. They want to put it right here, said Gran. Biff and Chip was upset too. They didn't want a motor motorway there. We don't want. We won't be able to have picnics or play in the wood," said Biff. And we won't be a a able to fly the kite. A woman pointed to the wood. Then she pointed to the village. This is where the motorway we will go. Or go between the woods and the village, she said. Gran was very upset. She looked at the village and she looked at her house. We don't want a mo motorway here, she said. We must stop it. Gran told people. Gran told people in the village about the motorway. Everyone was upset. We don't want a motorway here. We must stop it, they said. Everyone wanted to stop the motorway. We don't want it here, said Gran. It will spoil our village. It can't be helped, said the man. We can't stop it. People came to Gran's house. They made banners and posters. Gran made a big banner. Beth helped her. The banner said, stop the motorway. She was good at painting. He made a poster. The poster said, Stay safe our woodland. The banner looks good, said Beth. And the poster looks good too. Everyone went to a meeting. An important woman was there. There, the woman pointed to a map. We have to put the motorway here, he said. We don't want the motorway here, said Grant. It will spo spoil the village. 
It can't be helped, said the woman. It has to go somewhere. I can't stop it. Soon big lorries and bulldozers came to the village. Nobody wanted the motorway. Everyone wanted to stop it. But the bulldozers began to dig. Ran and looked at the bulldozers. The motorway was for the countryside, she said. Now we won't be able to work in the woods and go on picnics. The children watched their bulldozers. Biff looked at the wild flowers. Oh no, she said. The bulldozers will dig them up soon. Let's pick some for Gran. Biff and Chip made Gran a cup of tea. They gave her the flowers. We pick, pick these flowers for you, said Chip. The bulldozers will dig them up soon. Ran looked at the flowers. I think these flowers are very rare, she said. I never seen them before. She jumped up and ran inside the house. Ran looked in a book. She found a picture of the flowers. This is wonderful, shouted Gran. These flowers are rare. Now we can stop the motorway. The rare flowers were saved, and so was Gran's village. The bulldozers and lorries went away, but they left a big hole in the ground. Thank you for helping us stop the motorway, said Gran. What, what will you do about the hole? asked Beth. Grand smiled. She had an idea. The big hole was made into a lake. Ducks came to live on it and wild flowers flew around it. The children were like this, said Grand. It's better than a motorway. The end.